I didn't see the same need for the hospice that Iris was seeing every week, you see, as an auxiliary nurse at St John's at Mongahanger. Well, there were three journeys to get to Dunstable, yeah. so we couldn't uh, um, do anything. The relatives yet. never got to their patients. So then. All their friends. And so I said to, to Wink, I've t said we, we'd build a hospice. So he said, well, you've let, let dropped me in it now. And so um, there it was splashed across the headlines of the paper the next morning. And he accepted straight away. And by the, the end of that week, we had a committee, some money coming in, and we were ready to go. Well, we were daunted, especially when we went to talk to other organisations and found that they were saying that we would never raise the sort of money we needed to build an inpatient hospice in the Luton and South Bay area. And so this made us more determined to prove them wrong. I had a little message one morning and he said, would you come to me on such a day? Had to be at a certain time. I had to be there at five minutes to one. So I was given a, pa a plastic bag and I put my hand inside and put it in and it was full of money. 30,000 pounds in different banknotes. We actually um, set a target when we first started the hospice and we, we then realised how much was involved and we said that we would open in five years. We started the appeal in 1986, I think it was, and we opened exactly those doors for the first patients in 1991 in five years. We want to have the same facilities in the hospice as there would be at home, in visiting, in staying overnight if the patient is desperately ill, and all the other facilities that are provided for not only the patients, but their relatives and friends. And I think that's been wonderfully achieved and it's been achieved both on the children's side and on the adult side. To see that achievement and that open to the public as it was and the joy that was expressed on the faces of those people who were going round what they knew was their hospice it was wonderful with a queue of traffic as we went out from the hospice down to Barton I think well, now it's just, we'll go from strength to strength, I think. It was a community that made this possible. And without their cooperation, it would not have been built. <laughs>